Today is a very special day in the hearts of all Canadians. The 34 million of us spanning sea to sea, the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. It's my birthday. It's your birthday? I thought your birthday was October 25th. Yeah, and yours is January 20... 21. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Not bad, right? Because yours is one day after Matt G? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, it's Tim Hortons' birthday. Happy birthday, Tim Hortons. They have free um, birthday donuts for everyone, and it's decorated with balloons and balloons, mostly. So it's Saturday, and everyone was going to sleep in, but I got up a little earlier, and I saw on Twitter that Tim Hortons was tweeting about the free birthday donuts. Mm -hmm. These little beauties. We all got one. And I was immediately like, everybody get out of bed, we have to go to the <laughs> get ready now! Because usually with like birthday stuff, like I remember, remember the birthday Oreos? They only do those for a limited time. You only get one shot, one opportunity. <laughs> so you make gotta it count. take it. Yeah, you gotta make it count. You gotta get all your free donuts, man. We're at the grocery store and Corey's like, oh, I don't know He's just booking it, looking at his phone. I guess he has a list of stuff that he needs. Look at him running around over there looking for things. I'm not looking at you, I'm trying to look at Cory. The big red blob over there. Is that how it goes? I know because I'm a race car driver. Yes, you definitely are. We're going to Ottawa. I'm really excited. Um, there's a thing called the Tulip Festival in Ottawa, um, which happens... Tulip Festival? Tulip Festival! Sounds more like an allergy festival to me. Well, too bad for you. You'll just have to deal. It'll be outside. You'll be fine. The Tulip Festival happens because during World War II, the Dutch um, King and Queen came to Canada for, like, refuge. The Queen was pregnant, so uh, a princess was born in Canada, which is, like, bad news. If a princess is born in the wrong country, that's not good. Um, so they, they, they like took a wing of the hospital and made it Dutch territory or something. So the princess ended up being born in Holland and as like a thank you every year, Holland now sends a crap ton of tulips to Ottawa. So they have a tulip festival. So we're gonna go and have a good time and also just go to Ottawa because Ottawa's cool. So Canada has this weird thing, uh, a lot of weird things, but this one thing <laughs> in particular is for some reason on the road, on the way there, there is a giant apple. There, they have there apple is. pie and apple things and apple everything. Apparently it has the world's best apple pie. Supposedly. And uh, that is the, uh, the big apple in Canada. When I joined fencing, my very first fencing trip that I went on was to Ottawa. Uh, and we were fencing at Queen's University and we stopped there even though it was the middle of winter and I think we like stopped by the gate and all the gates were closed and we snuck in so that we could take a picture by the apple. <laughs> it's great. We still have it somewhere. I don't know where but it's very big when you're standing beside it. We made it just we as the sun it. is peeking down below the clouds. <laughs> Actually, it was a nice drive. We took the scenic route we and, did and take the uh, scenic went route. through the Middle country. Of nowhere. Saw a lot of beaver houses. We did. Uh, and saw a lot of trilliums, yeah. which is the national flower, uh, no, provincial flower. Provincial. Not national. Mm -hmm. They're pretty. Welcome to our room. Greta's playing video games. But I just wanted to share this chair with you. It's gigantic. Look at me. <laughs> This is the biggest chair of life. Wow, of life. Of life. That's amazing. It's the biggest chair of life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a bit of a situation on our hands. All I wanted to do was cook a hot dog and watch some X Files. But this stove has just emitted a lot of smoke for one little hot dog. It's not even burnt. I don't know if you can tell by the high grade quality of these cameras. But uh, this room is super duper smoky right now. It's a long weekend, so I can hear people doing fireworks everywhere. So remember earlier when we went to go 
get free donuts and I was really excited about the birthday cake donuts. Well, it turns out that because, as I said yesterday, that I haven't been eating sugar, that my palate actually changed and my body rejects the taste of sugar now. I had like one little bite of that donut and I was really excited about that one little bite. And then as I was tasting it, I was like, this doesn't taste good. And I was really sad. But apparently when you have a sugar-free diet, then your body is just like, oh, sugar's gross now and it doesn't like it. And I'd always heard that, but I always thought that, that people were just being really dramatic when they said that, when they're like, oh, I went sugar-free and then everything was sugar and it tasted bad to me. But it's true and it sucks and it made me really, really sad. So I put the, <laughs> I put the donut in a Ziploc bag and it's in the freezer right now. So whenever I decide to stop being ketogenic, I am going to eat that donut like it deserves. Right, you said Mario's, I'm so excited. Yeah. This is your favorite restaurant? Yes. We used to go to an Eastside Mario's in St. Catharines all the time, and then it just magically disappeared and was gone, even though- I lived across crazy. the street from that Eastside Mario's. I know, and now it doesn't exist anymore. It makes me really sad, but we found one, and I'm so excited. And this food is delicious. Is that the- if you've never been to Isai Mario, it's amazing. It's basically and the Canadian Olive Garden. It's so, yeah, but like, it's better. The food is better. Okay. Also, instead of breadsticks, you get this. It's a garlic loaf, and it's unlimited. And you also get unlimited soup and salad. And it's all awesome. And I'm very excited. So we may or may not have rearranged this entire room to make video. I say the entire room. Well, we rearranged most of it. We put a lamp. And this side table used to be over there, and you know, that doesn't belong there. But, uh. It's a makeshift tripod. Makeshift tripod! We made a video, and I'm really excited, and it's gonna go on my channel. And we mostly just made it because of the chair. Because the chair is epic. Because it's a pretty cool chair. So, that's a thing that happened. <laughs> I will edit it when we get back home, and then hopefully we'll go up next week. I was just gonna go upstairs and, like, point the camera in Corey's face and be all annoying and little little bratty like I do when I feel like vlogging being hyper and stuff but uh, I like ran upstairs and he was talking to Ava over Skype and I decided against that because it's been a long day he's been working on Buffer all day um, even though it's Saturday and I just decided to give him a little break a little break it has been a day it's been a long day and so I must bid y'all Adieu. Good night. Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside. So don't go away. We're here every day. It's not Apprentice A. It's Apprentice A. Hey, hey.